So today we're going to go over painting a wood duck head that we sell here at Rocky Mountain Materials. These heads are lightweight and they take pastels very well. So the process today, we're going to use only pastels and do a couple layers and clear coat to give you a good look on a wood duck head without having to pull out an airbrush or make it too complicated. So starting off today, I have these small little applicators. They have a tiny little sponge at the top. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. Uh, they work really good for some of the finer details you need to get into. So I've got yellow ochre. I'm going to start off by doing the yellow up top here on the corners of the bill. And you can see with this uh, sponge applicator how much control I have over my lines and where I choose to get paint. And we'll go ahead and do the other side. It's very faint on the head, but you can see some lines when you're painting to help you see where the yellow goes and where the red would blend in, reddish orange. And then just make sure that you get yellow down on this other side. And then I'm just going to do a little bit of yellow there in the nostril to highlight that. So there's our application of yellow. I might go a little deeper on this side. And I want to make sure everyone knows that when you're using these sponges to stay within the same color uh, tones so if I'm using yellow on this, I don't want to go with a gray or a black or a blue and then come back and try and apply yellow. Otherwise, the darker colors will overpower your lighter colors. So stay within orange, red, yellow, and then have other colors for other brushes. So now we're going to move on to doing the reddish orange. We're going to start with orange. And you can see why I like these little sponge, I don't even know what you want to call them, Q-tips. Especially for a wood duck because I have a lot of control over my lines. I used to really struggle painting wood duck heads with an airbrush, trying to get perfect clean lines on these. So being able to use the pastels like this makes a huge difference. And I'm going to do my best to not get in the way of the black that we're going to put in here, and then I'm going to give myself a nice clean line here for where we're going to be, where the white's going to be. If I can help it, we won't even put any white on there because the head's already white. So you can save yourself some time by working a little slower and being a little more precise. However, if you happen to get a little orange or red or whatever in that white area, you can get a regular Q-tip with some acetone or lacquer thinner and you should be able to clean most of it up and keep that white look on there. So I'm just going to look at this head head on, make sure that my sides are even with my lines and then touch up what I need to. So we've got our yellow and orange. Now we're going to move on to black. I'm going to use the same Q-tip 
applicator I have then. And same with the yellow. You can see some slight uh, lines of where you're going to be putting this black. Courtney brought us some Frosties. And if we want to go thicker on this color of black, then we can do that on our second coat because we're going to come back and do a second layer on the orange and the yellow to give it a little more um, depth. So I've got my black up top there lined out. Now I'm going to switch over because I've got more surface to cover to just a, a little bit larger sponge for applying. And we're going to paint this nail up top. You can see how easy it is to get this black and this detail on here. Then I'm going to go ahead and do the underside really quick with black. And I like to run my sponge just along the bottom of that upper bill. So there's a very faint black line on there, but not much. So I'm going to switch to a brush, just a small brush. We're going to take black to get down into some of the cracks there in the lamella. And then in between the lines between the upper and lower mandible there at the, the jaw. So at this point I'm in a clear coat and I'm just using a clear acrylic coating that's in matte and we're going to give it a, an even coat but nothing too heavy. And we're just going to lock our colors in. So I'm going to let this dry for a couple seconds. And while it's still slightly tacky, is a good time to come in with whatever color you want to work on next. If you want to go a little thicker on your black, this is a good time to do it as the clear coat acts of, as like an adhesive. And it helps that black stick a little bit thicker. So I used my larger sponge for that. I'm going to move on to the small Q-tip one. And go ahead and darken this black right here. Now at this point, I'm going to grab our small sponge again and basically repeat the process here with the yellow. Just so we get a little thicker color coat of yellow on the corners up there on the bill. And your orange and yellow are very close after you do your clear coat, so I'm not as worried about getting my sharp lines. It almost helps blend my orange and my yellow in. And I'll just go around the nostril again. Now I'm going to move on to a red instead of using orange. And we're going to do red in this area where we did the orange on the first layer. And this is where you want to take your time and have clean lines.
but doing that orange first really helps have that undertone wherever your red doesn't quite stick. And then when we clear coat this, it's going to show up even more. So we got our red on that side. Now we're going to move on to do the same thing on this other. And then you can see we haven't had to touch any of the white area. If you're doing an open mouth bill, they come in a flesh color to help you paint the inside of the mouth. And so then you would have to apply a, a white in that area. So now I'm just going to look ahead. I'm going to see I'm a little farther down on the other side, so I'm going to make sure both sides are even. I'm going to jump back to the black real quick because I can see I'm a little off. So I was just rounding those off up top there. Okay, I've got a really fine brush. I'm just going to get inside my nostril right there to black that out. And we just have to be careful on this because we don't want to get black all over the yellow and we also don't want to get black all over the white areas. So at this point I'm just going to come back and maybe touch up my line here on the nail. Make sure you look at that head on to know that you got it straight and one side's not crooked. And then I just like to take a few seconds to kind of look around and make sure that I got paint everywhere. <laughs> Sometimes we get so focused on holding the head a certain way that we might miss a certain area on the head. So at this point I'm happy with how that looks. I'm going to go ahead and do another light layer clear coat, and we'll be done. And just like with painting, I'm rotating this head at different angles so my clear coat gets everywhere. 